So full disclosure up front, this is not the version of this deck that got played in most of the games that are going to be in the uh, upcoming uploads following this, but this is the version of the deck that we ended up on at the end of the night, so it's the one I wanted to highlight and most recommend. Essentially, the shell is probably pretty familiar. It's mostly an All Runs Epiphany shell that... I've continued to think that Galvanic Iteration and Unexpected Windfall is the thing that gives you the best chances to win Control Mirrors right now, which has me pulled in this direction over Esper. And I think that adding black to the deck for Meat Hook Massacre, Soren, slightly better removal, and Parasitic Grasps has improved the aggro matchup to the point that I feel relatively comfortable with the deck. The nerf to Alrin's Epiphany definitely most hurt the aggro matchup. The lack of being able to make birds and just get a couple of blockers very often means the difference between living through the following turn just barely and stabilizing into a big combo turn or dying. And currently without the birds, just dying seems to be the trend. But, so, all that said, I do think we've got the deck to a pretty decent spot. I feel like there's probably still some experimenting to be done with the ratio of counterspells and hand hate. But, in general, Infernal Grasp and Disdainful Strokes have been pretty effective out of the board against dragons, giving lots of early interaction that's on curve and meaningful. Disdainful Stroke gives you something to do that doesn't just fall very far behind when you're on the draw against a turn two whelp, and you'll have a pretty high percentage of the time where the dragon's decks just fall apart on their own. So you don't need to beat every nut draw. You only need to beat some of the nut draws. Meanwhile, Parasitic Grasp has helped the matchup against the various green and green-red aggro decks to a pretty decent extent. There's a lot more targets, especially the werewolves, than you would expect for it, and the life gain is very nice. And then Soren and Meat Hook Massacre have helped shore up the matchup against uh, Sanguine Bloodstroke. I think that's the name. <laughs> uh, with some additional life gain that otherwise the deck was kind of struggling to race, because even if you had enough removal, it was pretty easy with just the straight is it version of the deck to just get put to 10 life and then die without. <laughs> ever having your opponent play another creature. And having access to repeated life gain effects has helped a lot there. So I think this is what I'm going to be playing for the Arena Open tomorrow, and I'd recommend giving it a shot. I don't think that it is a stellar, meta-breaking 75% list, like some of the lists that I've played in the past, but this is about the best deck I've been able to put together. And... I think it says a lot that Alchemy has not been a format that is incredibly busted. They balanced it pretty well with a very small number of changes. I'd say that makes me pretty happy. <laughs>